Peace and blessings and keep up the lessons. You know who this is. Crypto B-Boy coming at y'all again. Yeah, I apologize for you guys, those of you who subscribe to me and, and those who haven't. Hopefully you will. I appreciate you, those who have and, and all that and the likes. Keep, keep clicking the like buttons on these videos so we can get it out there. Algorithm can work for me to get the videos out to you. <laughs> and the notification bell, keep that button clicked so you can get notifications of more to come videos future. But anyway, basically, really, I'm not going to be long winded to my best ability. I'm traveling to work, but I just wanted to come in and, you know, I've been away for a while. I got to take a break. You know, everybody needs to take a break sometimes from this social media craze that be going on, you know, and all the stuff that's going on with the crypto space, within the crypto space, people talking, everything is going on. Anticipation of Fed now right <laughs> and and the likes of the ripple case uh with sec and then gary gary the Google gensler's the, you know the rumor about him pretty much being uh you know uh, it, uh that he it really as a rumor that hasn't really been um uh, you know clarified and has any clarity that would, whether it's true or not that he's going to resign so we know that that's been spoken about, and uh, I'm sure it's been talked about so many times in the Twitter spaces as well, <laughs> seeing it, seeing them posted. Um, my position with him is that, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do and whatever's going to be the outcome. I'm all about always just seeing what's going to happen and waiting to what's going to happen and then the outcome, because... We can argue and speculate and go back and forth about it and make conversation because people just like to talk. And I know we all like to talk. I like to talk. You know what I mean? That's why I'm doing it now. That's why this is something I like doing. You know, it's it's you know, I got into it on a business level as well as another form of income. But I like doing it before I even got into it. I did it. I started it with my faith and I was doing Twitter, you know, YouTube. Uh, my YouTube channel was based on, you know, talking about my faith. Uh, you know, commenting on debates and so forth and stuff like that. So, and then I collaborate, collaborated with some people. Also, I did some stuff about African diaspora and African travel, going to Africa to travel and, and you know, make repatriation various on my, my channel, Brother Talib Show. So, but with the Crypto B-Boy, which I had to make the move, a lot, some of you might know already who have subscribed and watched the video, the introduction video, that I try to give people to know about crypto more. And not everybody knows, but then when you get into a position where there's celebrity type of <laughs> type of situations going on, you, you're not going to be at the enchilant, you're not going to be on the top, and everybody's not going to literally listen to you unless you are somebody that you're with those types of people and or, you know, you just have that type of that type of video uh, footage that's going on that has that quality video footage that they like. And, you know, music, you know, people, I'm not into music like that. So, but anyway, the basic thing is about with Fed now, because my, my, my opinion with, uh, you know, with Gary and even the Ripple case is, is just, everybody's waiting for the outcome. It's a time, it's a time, timing thing. It's, uh, you know, it's going to happen eventually. People are frustrated. People are tired. So why can you keep talking about it all the time? You know, just, Take a break, go, you know, cook your bar barbecue like you're going to do <laughs> today. And some of you who are doing that and sell it, you, those who you celebrate this day. But for me, uh, independence has always been uh, what uh, my myself and people like me have been trying to establish since day one in this country. So I don't really I don't really get into this this so-called Independence Day thing. But that's just me. Uh, but basically, you know, dealing with the Fed now is the same thing. Of uh, people are waiting for the outcome. There's a lot of anticipation, and we're going to see what's going to happen. But we can speculate, and it's okay. You know, it's good to know about what we think, and people bring different scenarios. What's going to happen? And my pr perspective, or perspectives, right? My perspective is that they're going to basically put this out there. We know that it's, it's being used for rails. Uh, uh, different types of uh, rails that are going to be, you know, financial rails for for the banking systems and making things quicker and easier for these banking systems to, in America particularly, uh, to be able to, you know, function better, you know, and it's part of the changing of the system, the reset. It's part. It's just part of it. There's a whole lot of different aspects of and factors in within the changing of the system, you know, the financial system from the old 
traditional financial system that you know SWIFT was a part of and so forth, these different technologies, um, you know, and, but now to more efficient technologies, now more, you know, globally interactive technology or interoperability technologies that can work with other technologies in a way that it's going to be digital. Everything's going to be digital. We know this. A lot of us speak about this. So Fed now, as we know what is put out for, and, and pretty much I don't even have to get into it because so many people have, and it just gets redundant hearing it over and over again. Some people just say, oh, here's another person talking about Fed now. But I'm just bringing my perspective that don't get it twisted. Fed now is not going to be the main function for, you know, these uh, functions that they were supposed to be, you know, uh, facilitating, you know, uh, for the banking systems, for commercial uh, banks, for the, uh, you know, central banks, so forth. And then also being like a, like a, like a bridge to CBDCs or, uh, um, you know, it actually is like a startup for the CBDC uh, um, process. This is going to be, you know, put out there eventually by these countries. Some of these countries already have them, like China. So, you know, uh, Fed now is just more from here on this side, but this end of things and end of the world, America, North America. So we're going to see what's going to happen. But more or less, what I think is going to, it's not going to be functioning properly to where there's going to have to be some scaling up. And it, it has that type of ability, capabilities, and it's open to open source, but programm programmable and a more centralized basis, those who are going to be programming it. And, you know, you have the Fed now community that they're pushing it and so forth. They have the actual community that I've read about, you know, not to get into detail because I'm trying to keep this video short but those people are going to be more and gearing to push this thing but it's not going to be it's not going to be able to take over everything all at once and it's not, everything is not going to be 100 percent. everything is not going to be oh that's it it's all fed now no things are still going to be functioning crypto is still going to be existing whatever especially you know the projects that are with the utility that are with you know uh major utility like xrp itself was a competitor to the fed now and if you notice how things happen and, you know, <laughs> things just shut down with the XRP through the case and all that and the maneuvers that were made, as we know, and all the, you know, the Ethergate, Ethgate, whatever, Hinman emails, all of that. OK, uh, are part of the plan, all part of the plan to sh to like block XRP and block Ripple from being the main company that will be facilitating that 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 those solutions to these uh, banks that, that are now waiting in, in the background for stuff to open and even for this case to go because some of them are waiting for just Ripple X, I mean, Ripple XRP Ledger uh, functionality. They're not waiting. They, they don't want to deal with the government, you know, because some of these people are private too, private companies, but might be big private companies. Who's to say? You know, we got all these partners that uh, Ripple has in their corridors outside the world, outside, excuse me, outside America outside the borders which has pretty much been they've been pushed to do that you know because of the lack of you know regulatory clarity and all this regulatory uh, regular um enforcement you know regular regulation by enforcement pushed by the sec you know on everything everything as much as they can and some things had passed as we know so but um that's my that's my perspective and i'm gonna leave it like that and not go any further because the time has passed pretty much. So I appreciate you guys listening and stay up, you know, keep, keep your minds open, look out for what's coming. Um, you know, keep your bags packed and everything. And, 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 and as you can commute, accumulate more, accumulate, you know, and do as much as you can to stay in the know or stay in, in the space. Don't, don't get yourself out because of, there's a lot coming and there's more, to, more to come. And we will see a lot more openings and things and opportunities for, the crypto space maybe not all the cryptos that are included but you know what's going to happen with that when regulation comes down the pipe so and it's and there's clear regulation regulation so basically keep it moving people that's what i'm saying so until next time this is your bro crypto b-boy coming at you and i'll speak to you soon bye bye peace